Okay, everyone. Uh, so I'm going to go over the e quiz number one with everyone. So um, so just take a pa paper and pen out, and so you can write down the information. Okay, so let me go ahead and click. Uh, let me go ahead and share the screen with everyone. Uh, okay, share screen. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go th through it pretty quickly. Uh, so this is the first quiz that was taken on the uh, it was taken on the 14th. Okay, so the first one, uh, so number one, convert 276 times 0 0.009 to power 10 notation, then perform the operation indicated. Okay, so, um, so you got 276 times 0 0.009. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is convert this one into scientific notation, which is 2.76 times 10 to the two. And the second part be nine times 10 to the negative three, okay? So then you combine, now you rewrite it. You can combine this and this together, which is put into one parenthesis. And you wanna group the 10 to the two and 10 to the three together, right? This here, okay? So now you multiply the 2.76, that give you 24.84. And then since this one is multiply against this one, so it's had the same base, the base is 10 on both. And you just have to do just add the exponent, okay? When you multiply, you add the exponent. So that means you got the two plus a negative three, okay? So you're gonna be have a 24.84 times, okay, two plus a negative three would be give you a negative one. So therefore the answer is 24.84 times 10 to negative one. Negative one mean to move the, the, um, the decimal point one to the right, uh, one to the left. Okay, so your answer comes to 2.84, uh, yeah, 2.484. Uh, okay, so the answer is A on Apple for number one. Okay, okay, for number two, okay, convert mm, uh, 98200 divided by 20 to the power 10 notation, then perform the operation indicated. Okay, so we're going to be. So 98200 divided by 20. Okay, so we're gonna be just convert this one into the power 10. So that's 9.82 times 10 to the fourth. Okay, so we're gonna be looking at that's two, that's four. So 10 to the fourth. Okay, so and then this one be the two and be 10 to the one. So you're gonna be moving one places over, okay? So that's why now we have to regroup them. So you're gonna have this one. Uh, so you got a 9.82 divided by two times the, and you group the 10, the base and the power and the exponent. And so you can do that. So 9.82 divided by two, that's gonna give you a 4.91. And this one is 10 to the fourth divided by 10 to the one. You, that's would be when you divide, you do a subtraction. So that means four minus a one. So four minus one will give you a three. So this is going to be 4.91 times 10 to the three. So the answer is C as in cat for number two. Does anyone have any question? No? Okay. Yeah, I wanted to ask for, for number one. Okay. Uh, why is the answer rounded down to two decimal places? Uh, two decimal places because uh, mainly, we're, uh, yeah, two decimal places, you can drop the four. Um, you know, uh, usually we can take an, into consider a tolerance, but most of the time we just use only two decimal places. Okay, mm -hmm. so therefore we can use the whole unit, but uh, 2.48 would be good enough. Okay. Okay. Thank you. There's also there's also a practical reason in terms of the accuracy that you can achieve. I think normally yes. it's practice. You, you look at the number with the fewest number of significant digits. Yes, which is here. And here. Which is okay. Um, so you, you your answer if your answer has more significant digits than the the least uh, precise number, then the answer really isn't. Um, you can't justify it in yes. a, in a practical sense. Yes. So this one is only, this one I would consider as one significant digit. And so therefore, uh, let me see, that would be considered three because you got from decimal point to the nine. And this one has three significant. So therefore it should be three significant digits, should be 
sufficient enough. You don't need the extra four. Oops. Sam, can we round it up if it's five? Um, like I said, you look at the number, whatever the answer is, whatever the closest, they go with that one. Okay. Okay. If you need to round it up, go ahead and round it up. If you need to round it down, round it down. Okay. All right. So, okay. So anybody have any other question? Okay. Number two. Okay, number, uh, so now we got slide number two. Okay, question number three, add 3.25 times 10 to the two and five times 10 to the three. Okay. Yeah, uh, pick, uh, okay, I pick D because 2.84 is not in there. No, uh, 2.84, uh, so like I said, we can round it, uh, 2.48 is close enough. So the answer would be, a for number one, okay? You don't have to be exact, but that's close enough. Like uh, Richard was mentioning, you look at the how many significant digit, and that's how, how you would able to determine, factor in the answer. Okay, so number two, okay. Um, qu uh, question number three, so add 3.25 times 10 to two and five times 10 to three. Okay, so 3.25 times 10 to two, plus five times 10 to the three. So we regroup together. So 3.25, uh, so we're gonna be have to adjust this one because this is 10 to the two and this is 10 to the three. We wanna do have the same one. So then we can factor out uh, the answer, factor out the 10 to the three later. Okay, so therefore we're gonna be getting this to 10 to the three by moving the decimal place to the front one time. So that's 0 0.325 times 10 to the three plus five times 10 to the three. Okay, now we can factor out the 10 to the three out from the, from the, from here out. And so you got 10 to the three times whatever is left inside. So to 0 0.35 is gonna be plus the five. Okay, so 0 0.35 plus five would be 5.325 times 10 to the, to the third. Okay, so the answer is B as in Bob for number three. Okay, number four, determine uh, 2.0 times 10 to the 6 minus 400 times 10 to the 3, okay? So here we're going to be doing the same thing. So 2.0 times 10 to 3 minus 400 times 10 to the 3. So we can uh, move this one to 10 to the 3 because the answer is all in 10 to the 3. So we're going to be, if, uh, so this one we're going to have to move to 10 to the 3 by moving the decimal to the right three times. So it'll leave you with three left, okay? So from here, one, two, three, one, Two, three, so decimal point would be right here, times 10 to three minus 400 times 10 to three, factor out the 10 to, uh, 10 to three outside, leaving you with 2000 minus 400. So 2000 minus 400 will give you uh, 1600 times 10 to the three. So the answer is B as in uh, Bob for number four. Okay, does any, anyone have any question? I agree with that, Sam. But I just my only question is, how come we can't put 1.6 times 10 to the whatever? One point, uh, 1.6 times 10. Because it, it, you, you look at these, these are the acceptable answer. Right? Yeah. So we have to go yeah, with that. Yeah, I, understand, I'm just, I understand that. I'm not arguing it. I'm just asking because uh, it would be one, two, three. Correct. It would be 1.6 meg or something like that. Yeah, so 1.6 times 10 to the 6. 10 to the 6 is a uh, mega. So it's no, no, not, no, it's no. not I agree with all of that. I agree with what, you, what you're saying about all of that. Yeah. So just... you're, it's, yeah, it's not in one of these options. So therefore, we ignore all the other ones. So this is the only this is the only one that fits with this here. And the, and the problem here is that you're asking for the student how to subtract a number with a different power. Mm -hmm. yes. We don't care that you can put 1.6 and you can multiply by the other power. Yeah. That, that's not the point on this question. Okay, uh, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I agree with you guys. It's just that I was just wondering about yeah, that. That's what I said, don't confuse it. Yeah, so whatever you look at, whatever they give you the option as the answer, you wanna do it, just use that form. Okay, don't you try to use any other form because it, that is not one of the forms. So 
this this question is a little different because it doesn't ask you to to put it in scientific or engineering notation. Yeah. It said it said if, if the question said do that and then convert it to scientific notation, then the right answer would have been D. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. But it's not as one of those. It just wants to see if you can add those uh, digit. Or, the first one just to add them together and this one to subtract them together, subtract. Sam, okay. I'm a little confused about uh, the first parenthesis, the one on the right side. The question number three and the question number four. Number four, 2.0 time 10 to the six. Okay. I don't get that part, how you went from there to 400 uh, time 10 to the three. Okay, so if I'm moving the decimal places three, uh, three times the uh, to the right, right? So if I'm moving the decimal place one, two, three, so therefore I have to do subtract three from the six right here. Oh, okay, okay. So that's why I'm, so therefore now I have to put three zeros in, three zeros uh, in, in, in place of it. One, two, three, and then I subtract three from the six. So that leaving me 10 to the three. All right, now I get it. Okay, okay, okay. you're welcome. Okay, so it didn't mean to open a can of worms. <laughs> we have to open up, so make sure that everybody understands because it's uh, you know it's, it, you can get confused on this pretty quickly. So yeah, thank you. Okay, so the next one. Okay, let me see. I'm looking at the file, and question three doesn't look like that. Uh. Question three that you said doesn't look like that. Let me see. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna look at the, uh, go here, go into the video. So uh, video, you said number three doesn't look like that. Let me look at the video. Okay, the video, as I can see, uh, so let me see if I look at that. Right here, it said add 3.25 times 10 to the two and five times 10 to the three. You said there's that doesn't match the question. Uh, Jesus? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm just looking at the file through the website. And I used to know it was on, um, it was on some different, I'm, a, I'm just on the different, uh, I guess, file. Okay, so yeah, you wanna watch the, th yeah, watch the, like I said, we already run this test. And so that's what it's recorded on the video. And then so therefore you can watch the videos here. And so question three is matching the one that I'm going through right now, which is uh, which was this one right here. Say right here, it's number three at 3.25 times 10 to the two and five times 10 to the three, okay? So yeah, just go watch the videos if you need to do that. Okay, we're going to the next one. Okay, determine uh, 6.9 times the quantity 6.9 times 10 to the five times the quantity 0 0.392 times 10 to the negative two. So we're gonna do the same thing. So 6.9 uh, times 10 to five times uh, 0 0.392 times 10 to the negative two. So we're gonna be, uh, so I'm going, since the answer here, they don't have any kind of into the power 10. So therefore I'm gonna convert everything to, to, the, uh, to the base unit right away, okay? So therefore this one is five. So I'm going to need to move five decimal places. So therefore from nine here, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's five zeros. Uh, four zeros plus the nine, so that's five. So that's six, nine, zero, 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 zero times this one be negative two. So might move two to the, to the left. So be, be uh, two times, so one, two. So therefore point, okay, so Six nine zero 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 times zero point zero zero three nine. Okay, so that's give you a uh, two seven zero four point eight. Okay, so the one that's closest to the answer is C, as in cat, for number five. Okay, Sam, number number D is quick because it's not two. It's two thousand seven hundred four point eight. Yes. So we did. We didn't know at plus minus five percent tolerance, but the num the number is uh, yeah. Like a wiggle, like Richard was saying, you look at the number a significant digit here. Okay, the one with the least significant digit is two di two digit. So twenty seven is the twenty seven here is the two significant digit. 
Okay, yeah, because Mr. E, I did the math right, and I did end up getting 2704, but the fact that, you know, C didn't say 2704, I chose D, so. Yeah, yeah I, I chose T, D. Yeah. Uh, well, like I said, you have to take it with the, uh, you know, it's up to the instructor to say that because uh, this is 2700 is close enough to this value. Okay. Okay. I think if the the general uh, idea. I mean, I did the I rounded it to twenty seven hundred. If they're but. closest to the correct answer, then the option none of the above probably shouldn't be an option on the test. That way, everybody knows that you need to choose one of the answers. Okay, so that's kind of something that Mr. Fam can uh, make an adjustment for next time, to, so that way. Yeah, correct. Okay. And one other thing too. Sam, me and you, we talked about, it, but uh, the uh, tolerance thing, it doesn't, the, the question doesn't talk about tolerance. And Mr. Pham did say he's a new student. So the new students wouldn't know about the tolerance. Like I said, it's Mr. Pham's test. So you have to take it up with him. I'm only going through and just telling you the answer, what he, what he said. I understand, the answer. You're, I understand you're just a middleman. I don't have any controls over this. So if it's, uh, you know, take it up with Mr. Pham, if he said it, the, an, uh, the answer, then I have to accept it as the, that as the answer, okay? As, as they say, don't shoot the messenger. Yes, <laughs> thank you, Richard. <laughs> okay, so number six, okay. Divide 100 times 10 to negative, negative six by uh, 2.5 times 10 to negative four. Okay, so we're gonna be doing that same. So that would be 100 times 10 to negative six divided by 2.5 times 10 to negative four. So we're gonna group the 100 and 2.5 together. So two, uh, one, uh, 100 divided by 2.5 times uh, 10 to negative six divided by 10 to negative four, okay? So therefore 100 divided by 2.5, that's give you 40, okay? And so this is dividing, so you're going to subtract. So negative six minus a negative four so that's give you a negative 10 to negative two. So it'll be 40 times 10 to negative two. So the answer is C as in cat for number six. Okay, so anybody have any question? Okay, the next one. Okay, number seven. Okay, convert 0 0.1 megavolt to kilovolt. Okay, so therefore 0 0.1 megavolt times there's be 1000 kilovolt in one millivolt. Okay, so therefore now you take this one, multiply the 1000, you get 100 kilovolt. Okay, so that's uh, So the answer is B as in Bob for number seven. Can we use a calculator? Yeah, you can definitely use a calculator. Okay. But uh, sometimes, uh, you know, uh, when you when you start using practice doing this a lot, uh, doing more of these homework again and again, it's start, these numbers starting to make very easy to do the calculation. But yeah, you definitely can use a calculator if you have one. If you can, ha you also have a uh, calculator on computer, so you can do that too, okay? So number eight, okay, compute the sum of one ampere and 100 milliampere. Okay, so they want to uh, compute the sum. So you're going to add one ampere plus 100 milliampere. So that's one ampere plus 100 milliampere. Okay, window calculator has a scientific mode. Yes, it does. Okay, and then that would equal to one ampere. And so we have to convert this one to ampere also. So, because the answer at the end is in ampere. So we're going to convert this one to ampere. So an ampere is going to be 0 0.1 ampere. So one plus 0 0.1 would be 1.1 ampere. So the answer is B as in Bob for number eight. Okay, anybody have any question? Okay, sounds good. All right, so next one. Okay, number nine, express 10 times 10 to the fourth volt in engineering notation. Okay, so 10 times 10 to the fourth volt. Okay, so we want to make sure uh, in engineer notation, we want to make sure that 10, uh, 10 to the fourth, it has to be divisible by three. So therefore four is not divisible by three. So, but if we redu reduce it by one, that would be to three divided by three, it can, it can work. So therefore, if we reduce this by one, we have to put add a zero in front of uh, the 10, uh, one zero zero times 10 to the three volt. 
okay? And we know that 10 to the three is kilovolt, okay? K for 10 to the three, so kilovolt. So this was gonna be 100 kilovolt. So, for, so the answer is A as an apple for number nine, okay? And by engineering notation, he means like something like 10 to the three or 10 to the six or those. Yeah, anything, yeah, anything that divisible by three. So you at the 10 here had to be divisible by three. So, so three, six, nine, 12, and so on, okay? Okay, so number 10, okay. Express 250 times 10 to the negative seven second in engineer notation, okay? So you have that, and so that's 10, 250 times 10 to negative seven seconds. So, and then like I said, engineer notation, we have to do it, make sure it's divisible by three. Seven is not divisible by three, but negative six is. Okay, so we put negative, uh, negative six, so we're gonna be moving one zero. So we're gonna be moving one over, and when we're moving one over, so we're gonna be subtracting negative one. And so, so that way it's gonna be negative six. So 25 times 10 to negative six. And we know that 10 to negative six is micro. Okay, so 10 to negative six is micro second. Okay, so 25 microseconds. So B as in um, Bob as no, for number 10. Okay, so anybody have any question? I was just gonna comment that I, I didn't realize that simply saying 25 microseconds was considered engineering notation. I thought it had to be written out as 25 times 10 to the negative sixth. Um, no, it's the same value. Correct. I thought it had to be written out specifically that way for it to be considered engineering notation. Um, okay, yeah, you have to, the way that, I couldn't tell, like I said, it's only, yeah, you can, then you have to use the symbol for it. Like I said, like Mr. Ham was, like Mr. Pham was saying, you, you have to use the handout from the website. Uh, let me see website. And so we're gonna be at the first handout. Okay, so first handout was uh, this one here. Okay. So your basic math, so you, yeah, so we got those factor in. Do not learn how to die that calculation. So this here, so you're gonna be able to control. Okay. So yeah, so you have your power so engineering prefix right here. Can you see? Yes, I can. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so an engineering prefix. So 10 to the six is, is micro or you have you have this symbol here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, you know, if, if you have a scientific calculator and you put it in engineering uh, notation mode, you'll get an answer in, in a power of 10 to the three yeah. or some multiple. So I think the difference is um, one is engineering uh, notation. The other is engineering nomenclature. Yes. Which is probably the better way to express the, the right answer. Okay. Yes, you're right. Okay, so like I said, this one's the first quiz. So some things would be, you know, um, you're gonna learn a lot more uh, what the, what the, when you work at different company, you know, you're gonna get the, what they're, uh, when they want you to measure something, something is not gonna be the ideal, uh, whatever the number is. So, but you're gonna give them the number that's pretty close to it. Sometimes they wanted you to do round it off for them and sometimes, uh, they don't, they, they want you to collect the information in uh, engineer notation. So you collect the information in engineer notation for them. That's, uh, that's uh, whoever the engineer that asked you to do that, to do the testing, okay? So do we have any other question? Okay, back to you, Mr. Pham. Thank you. Okay, just uh, wait for me. I using my iPad. Okay. Yeah, if you want to use a conversion table, you can use the conversion table, the one that Mr. Tai showed you yesterday. Yeah, you can definitely use the conversion table to do the converting. Okay. okay. Uh, this is a second time with a meeting. Okay. Normally, 
I open the Zoom at for thirty. Okay. I opened earlier to think I want the student try to make sure they're able to download what we need. Okay. And for the handout, that's what I given to you. I want you to reading over and over and over. Make sure you can understand when we're talking about, okay? Basically, I don't want to go, but you know, uh, one by one on the handout. I just try to make sure you understand what uh, we need you to understand. Okay, so for the quiz, no matter for you is stay in the program how long, it doesn't matter. But what I want. Every time you're reading the question, you know right away what to do. That'd be good to me, okay? That could be helping you for your job interview, okay? We just go over and over and over. That's quite different from the way the other program, you know, online. They just given the new tip for you to follow it. And they only meeting with you to answer any question. That are quite different from the way we're learning in this program. We just like you guys in the classroom, okay? Anything, any question you're confusing or not understand, just bring it up. If you want to ask me a question, you better get on live at 4.30. That's why I can help, okay? When we start, I cannot. So last time, we already go to the BCAC and we already explained to you, okay? Also, this we what you make sure you have to know when you see the sideway and we can ask you what the phone pick or what the phone pick you pick or what the wanted IMS. You know how to do basic calculation, okay? To get that value. And also you understand what is the period. If you get a period and you're able to calculate the frequency, T equal one over F or F equal one over T. And also the basic definition, you have to read it over and over. They say one complete occurrence of a repeating way. Set one positive, one negative. That will be alternation of the sideways. Okay, uh, what frequency? The frequency, the number of cycle of signal that occur in one second. Period, the time distance between two similar points on the period way. And that way, a common power of 10. Okay, basically, we are technicians. So I'm not really. Uh, focus on this calculation. If you want to learn more or detail, go to the college or university. Okay, but on this program, I still bring it up to make sure someone can understand. And the addition or uh, subtraction or multiplier or divider. At least you have to know how to do it. Like you want to adding to number with a different power or multiply or divide it. Then you have to know how to do it. Okay. And then you can see engineering prefix. When I talking about Terra, you must know that will be 10 to a power of 12. A kilo 
power of three, melee minor three, and so on. Okay. And now, if you're looking into the circuitry here, you get a power of battery, like the 12 volt, then the current will be flowing, okay, from the positive, okay, to the negative. That the current flow this way we call conventional current. Only thing is when you're reading the textbook, they draw current opposite this way. That they're talking about electron current. We don't care that. We're working with the conventional current. And then we go to the resistance. Basically, you must understand resistance just the opposite to the current flowing. Okay. And a component manufacturer have two resistance, they call a resistor and a conductor like copper have a little resistor. Okay, and whenever you say this is a symbol for the real resistor. And in the, in the schematic, this is a symbol. Okay, they're using a letter R for resistor. And the unit of the resistor in ohm. They can be ohm, kilo ohm, omega ohm. And also the symbol, they can use in this symbol for the ohm. This is very, very basic for any technician. When you're looking into the register, you're able to know. Okay, this is just for your knowledge. I don't go to that. And also this will be display a different register. A bigger can handle more power, okay? So they can be two watt power or one watt, one and a half watt and so on, okay? And this are another different type for you, okay? For the knowledge. When you're working, you see the register look like this thing here and you know this is a register, okay? And also this is a different type of the register. The, re the region they make uh, look like the IC here. Register, they want to say the room. Otherwise, if you're using single register, that takes too much room, okay? And it also talking about variable register. That means you able to adjust the resistor to any value. For example, you get 10 kilo ohm variable. You can adjust from zero up to 10 kilo ohm. Okay. And now resistor color code. Okay, last time we already telling you, but this time uh, I modify it. Okay, make sure they correct it. So basically you can get the four band. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's a general purpose. Five bands, that will be precision. Only the difference is the precision will be more, get more accurate than general purpose. Okay, but they work in the same. So the first band, they say first digit, second band, the second digit, third band will be multiplied and the tolerance will be the last one. Now, this is the one I updated, okay? This for general purpose. So this is the first digit, this is the second digit, will be multiplied, okay? You understand 10 power zero will be equal to one, multiplied by one. Or 10 power one being 10, okay, and so on. And also, the tolerance, okay, plus or minus 5%, 10%, or 20%, depending on the color, gold, or silver, or not at all. Now, we're talking about the tolerance.
Okay, let's see. I won. It will be okay. I want to add it. Okay, so now look like I get the resistance. Okay, ah, okay, hundred. Oh, okay. If I say tolerant, blood minus ten percent. That's cool. Now, what that mean for just minus 10%? That means the first thing you need to calculate the maximum value, we call upper value. Okay, and also we get a lower level. First thing we know, we need to know what is the ten percent of a hundred ohm. Okay. It's one hundred. Equal one. How many ohm? One hundred. Ten. Ten. Ohm. Is it ten ohm? Okay, 10 ohm. 0.1 ohm? Oh, 10 ohm. That's 10 of 110. Yeah, that's correct. 10 ohm. Okay. That means you have to calculate to say 10 percent of 100 ohm equal how many ohm? Okay. You take the, uh, now get the upper value. That means the nominal value is 100, you add into 10. You get 110 ohm. And the lower value will be 100 minus 10. You get a 90 ohm. Okay? So when you measure the resistor, you measure. Okay, you get 95 ohm. Is it okay or not? It's okay. Okay. Okay, I, the thing is they will be inside the upper and the lower. So it could be good. Okay. So if you measure R equal 120 ohm. Not okay. Not okay. That means bad, right? So, so now you understand what they're talking about, tolerance. The thing is when you measure, you cannot know where you can get 100 O. Have to be higher or lower, okay? Even you measure the voltage or the current or anything else, they want 10 volt. You cannot exactly to 10 volt. They have to be higher than 10 or less than 10, but which the value will be acceptable depending on the tolerance. 
Okay. So now you understand what it means for the tolerance, right? You get any question or anything about the tolerance? Okay. If it not, okay. Well, I personally have a question pertaining. I personally, I personally have a question pertaining to understanding what you just uh, explained with the color coding of of uh, the resistor and how when we look at those values, yeah, how yeah, we yeah. could uh, find take it. Right now, I'm talking about the tolerance before. I think you how to see the color code in order to get a value. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Hey, Mr. Pham, the tolerance doesn't apply to precision resistors, correct? Can you say again? Tolerance, it does not apply to precision resistors? Like a precision a precision resistor. Well, Some precision resistor just are more accurate than the other one. But the way to doing a calculation will be the same. Okay, so precision precision resistors ha have a tolerance as well. Yeah, but the thing is you can see on the precision here. Okay, they get more accurate on the tolerance. Okay. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. So if you buy the resistor for the precision here, okay, for normal you pay five cent, precision you pay twenty five cent. Okay, got you. Okay, now if they given to you the resistor for this one here, number eight. Calculate to see, tell me the value. You get the fourth digit will be brown. Okay, that's the fourth digit. One. That will be the fourth digit. That is a second digit. That will be multiply. That will be Tolerant. Okay. okay. So now you see the first one brow. You're looking into the brow. Oh, too far, too far. Okay, brow right here. One. One. Okay. So the brow will be one. Second, second green. What number? Five. Uh, Five? Yes. One five. Okay. Multiply, that means you multiply by what? Yellow. Ten, Ten to, to the power four. 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 Ten to the power four, right? Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And zero. Uh minus ten percent. Plus or minus ten. The 20, 20. 10%. Okay, let me see. Okay, Tiva will be 10%, right? Okay, got it. Okay, so basically, what the value of the register? You can say one five times ten to power power of four. One fifty kilo. Say, you can say hundred fifty times ten power three. Is it okay? Yeah. Or another way is one fifty kilo ohm. Yeah. Plus minus ten percent. And they can be equal 150 kilo ohm. Okay, blood 
minus 10%. On that one, they will, unit will be in O. So either they can use O, but they can use kilo O. That is how do we calculate based on the color. Quick question, Mr. Pham. Yeah, go ahead. On the job, are you generally expected to have these values memorized? So you can just no, do this? No, 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 no. you I, can use the table? I training for you guys to be a technician, not a assembler. However, I'm saying- what? Not assembler, okay? Okay. I want you to be a technician. And a technician, if you know how to do your calculation, it's good for you, but it's not basically requirement. Okay? Who okay. care? Okay? Yeah. Now, what I telling you, you get the register look like that one. 150K. Okay, you interview, I gave you register. I asking you, can you tell me the value of the register? Now, who know the answer? It's ranging somewhere between no, no, no. no, 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 no. What I'm saying is I give, I give it to you register. I asking you, can you tell me what is the value of this ratio? It's, it's 150 kilo ohm. No, no. no you, me you measure it. You measure it. Should, it should, we, we use, uh, we measure it, or uh, maybe it's written on it. It depends if it's marked. If it's marked with a band like gold or silver, you'll know what tolerance to look for. Otherwise, you have to. Um, measure it or look, look it up like on something almost like a, a data sheet or something. Okay, now, the answer will be, you can add, you know, add them. Okay, can you tell me which way you want? By looking into the color code or using the meter to measure it. Oh, okay. You see that? If they yeah. said, okay, I want you to tell me about using color code. Now, how can you answer? Um, starting from the left-hand side of gold, silver, and no color, left must bend. <laughs> no. Color code is the resistant uh, value, right? That, that's what they're asking by the color code. By well, we read, the color, uh, we by look looking the into the color code, tell me what the value. I want yeah, we to, will definitely. How do you answer? We will uh, have our uh, paper that will give us the value of the color corresponding to color, a, the value, the value corresponding to a color and uh, read from left to right. Brown, green, yellow. Yeah, now I tell you. Okay, if you want me to identify the value by the color code, first thing I can tell you, I understand how to do it, but I cannot memorize the table. Yeah. If you give me the table, I can tell you. That is the way you can able to answer. You see that? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Mr. Pham, is, is a color code or, or this table, is that a form of a data sheet for resistors? I don't I'm, not know, saying, I'm not saying it's a data sheet. I'm saying, is it sort of like a data sheet? No, normally you want this table. That's it. Okay, general purpose resistor yeah. color code. Okay. Now, the other one, if you said, 
paging the meter. Okay. Then basically you get the, I don't know, the lab instructor telling you about DMM. Electromotive force. That means digital, digital multimeter. Digital multimeter. Okay. I can quickly tell you here. Yeah. Where we take you. You see that? That DMF. Uh, this is the one we use in the lab. Okay. That DMF. Digital multimeter. But that will be coming later. Okay. Now. Why don't you tell the brother to go to the store? Quickly, otherwise, we can get a problem if we have a not enough time. Now, normally, you connect the MM positive here. And this one will be negative here. Whatever value telling you, that is the value of the register. Okay. To the technician or engineering, we want to get the value we normally using the meter. The thing is, the color code is okay. However, what I'm saying here, if they open inside here, if you're using the value uh, color code, you can get a draw. The thing that went with the meter, when they open, then you know this is not a good one. Okay? And the last question on this one. If I, I want to connect the negative to this side, and the positive to the other side. Is it okay or not? Yes, for the register, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, that is perfect. For register, have a no polarity. Okay, either way, it'll be okay. Yeah. And one more, Mr. Fam, one more point when we are using a DMM, that the marker should be on the register. If you are using a marker as a voltage or current, it is not going to measure the resistance correct value. Now, right now, I'm talking about measure the register. Yeah, but how can we measure it if it is not an ohms that is required? Otherwise, we will get a wrong result. Well, no matter what, depending on the meter, when you measure, they can you the value. However, on a meter, sometimes they set the range from 10K to 100K, whatever. Then you measure, they cannot display the value you can the scale, okay? But auto scale, then you can get the value no matter what. Don't measure the resistor in the circuit with the power on. Now, that's a different story, okay? Right now. But not, nowadays in most of the companies, they use DMM. Nobody's using analog old multi old ohm meter. All are using DMM now. Right. The thing is that the other one too old. Okay. Company don't keep that anymore. DMM will be very cheap, easy to deal. Okay. Now, the other thing we have to emphasize on the arm low. Okay. The thing is someone talking about technician is not the engineering. Okay, that's correct. However, technician or engineer doing the same thing. That means you must be testing the circuitry and the circuitry not working. Engineer or technician have to fix anyway. Okay. Only thing is, technician not design anything, but the problem still have to do the same way, no matter what. Okay. So, Amla, you get the 
พร้อมรอ together a q u a n i time r in this form ไปแล้ a จะตัดพ้นจะ i will be a current r will be resist in this form ไปแล้ว a must be in both i must be in a pair and r must be in o if they not the same then you have to do a conversion like milli arm pair or one arm pair you have to change to either one r ohm you need to change to kilo ohm okay that means they have to be the same unit okay In here, they say one and ampere and no. And from this formula, you're able to get the second formula. If you want to calculate I, I equal E divide R, or R equal E divide I. Okay? So they can give and do the example here. They can get a 25 milliamp for the six volt, and they want to know how. Uh, What the value of R can you use in this formula? Okay, I equal E divide to the current I, and V have to be voltage, current have to change to the ampere. Okay, so basically, 25 times 10 power minus 3 ampere, and the answer will be. 240 ohm. So you get through this calculation. Only thing you get three formula. Okay, calculate E, calculate I, calculate R, and make sure they must be unit like they define. E must be in both. I have to be current ampere. I have to be in O. Okay, now, if you get a point A here and a point B here, okay, I'm telling you, when I say V, A, B, by definition, V, A, B must be V, A. Minus VB. That means the voltage from the A to the point B. VCD can have to be VC minus VD. Okay, that is the basic definition. When you say VA only, That's a different. Normally, the meter, they get a positive. That is the meter. They get positive and they get a negative. DML. So when you want to measure the VAB, that means the positive goes to A. The negative go to B. However, if they say I want major VA, how? E to ground. VA positive connect to A. And the negative <laughs> must be connect to what we call round. Come on. That's what I make sure you must be understand that. When you measure the voltage A to B, then the positive connect to A and the negative connect to B. However, when you measure the voltage at the only single point, A or B or C, doesn't matter. If I want to measure the voltage at A, And positive connect to A and a negative must be connect to common. That means to the right. Okay. 
and also we get the power, okay? Uh, the thing that when the current go to the resistor, electrical turn out to be a uh, heat. So that's why if you touch, they will be hot, okay? So they get the power dissipation on the resistor. They can calculate by this formula, or this formula, or this formula. They given you three formula, depending on what you get in order to calculate the power. I'm thirsty. Yeah, ten a minute. Okay, so in this formula, they already telling you the P will be in what we must be involved. I have to be in a pair. Okay, if I square time R, I have to be in O. Okay, now we're talking about series circuitry. Okay, so in here, when you read it, See, current is the same everywhere in the circuit. Total resistance equal to the sum of the individual resistance. Total voltage equal to the sum of IR voltage drop across each individual. Total power equal to the sum of power. Now, let's see. I need to add in. Okay, let's see. Okay, here. Okay, how come they can go down here? Okay, now I'm talking about theory, okay? When you get the circuitry, Okay, plus minus 10 volt. So you get R1, R2, R3, R4. Okay, this connection we call a series circuitry. Okay, now by the definition, the series circuitry, that means a resistance connect end to end. That means after N1, they connect to two, after two, they connect to three, and so on. That is defined for the series circuitry. Another way, you get the current flow. Current I. Okay. In order to know that in series or parallel. Okay, if they in series, that means all resistor in series get the same current. Okay, current I go to R1 the same, R2 the same, R3 the same, R4 the same. So that's why you know they in the series circuitry. Okay, in the series circuit. First thing I want to combine everything into the circuitry. 
only one register. Still plus minus 10 volt. And this what to call a total. Okay. Instead you're using R1, R2, R3, R4. Now I combine it to the circuitry only one register. So that's why what you need to know how to calculate the R total. They will be equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4. Or you can add in more. Okay, they can go RN. That's okay. That means in order to get a total register of the circuitry in series, add them up. Okay. Then now on this one here, you're able to calculate the current I. Okay. Apply the arm law. This is the E and E divide to R total. That's how you apply or uh, calculate the current I. And the current I will be the same through R1, R2, R3, R4, and so on. Okay? If you don't want, uh, if you don't calculate the R total, then the formula has to be E divide R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4, so on. Okay? E, e is the current here, correct? E means the voltage. I will be the current. Okay, yeah, okay. E divide to register to get the current. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's emphasize here is what? That means you want to calculate the total voltage in a series to add them up, okay? And then you can use the Ohm law to calculate the E. E equal to, uh, you know, I equal E divide R total. Okay, now, I erase that one, okay? I try to draw, uh, let resistance so we can get the room to go into something else. Okay, you get this circuitry over here. Now I try to get the complete calculation. Okay, plus minus 10 volt, R1, R2, R3. I get point A here, B, and C. Okay, that will be 50 ohm, 100 ohm, okay, and, um, 150 ohm. When you say no unit, that means we be in ohm. Okay. okay. First thing is R3, put three. You right. Right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Then we can get a current flowing here. Hi. Right. Okay. Now, when the current flowing through the resistor. Okay, then the positive here and the negative here. Also, this is a positive here, negative here. Positive and negative, okay? That looks like the formula, don't ask me why, okay? 
coming in, current coming in, positive living negative. You in the view, I given the register. Ah, I asking you. Which one will be positive? You get that, register two sides. Depends okay. on I. No, register don't have a positive or negative. Exactly. If you say positive here, negative here, you not understand. Okay? Register will be a non-polarity. Only thing is when you get a current flow, then when they're coming in, they positive, and they live in the negative. However, if there's not a register, you cannot tell which side will be positive or negative. The thing is that what the, you know, interview, I interview a lot of still, you know, people. I we just asking a very basic, make sure they understand it. Not go too much detail. Okay. So now you know how to calculate the total register. If you not follow it, need to stop me, okay? Otherwise you get lost. How are total equal? R1 plus R2 plus R3. Exactly, R1 plus R2 plus R3. That means you get a 300 ohm, all right? Okay, 50 plus 100, 150 plus 150, you get 300 ohm. Now, if I want to calculate the current I, then you say, a divide to a total. Equal 10 divide 300. Oh. So 10 divide 300. Oh. Can you see? Okay. 33 million. 10 divide to 300. You get 0 0.033, right? Mm -hmm. zero point zero three three amp. Ah, if I want milliamp, I time a thousand, right? Yes, thirty three milliamp here. Okay. Thirty three point three. Yeah, twenty three, thirty three point three milliamp. Mm -hmm. Okay, I say anything confusing, just bring it up. The thing is, we're not trying to go in back again. Okay. Now, if I said I want the VR1, I want to calculate the VR1. VR1, that means you will be major across the R1. Okay. VR1, that means the voltage across here. IR1. Okay. That means I time I want. Okay? That means on law, right? I time R. But however, what I and what R? That's a key point. Okay? I here, you can say 0 0.033. Time 50. And that will be equal to what? 16.7. Zero, three, three, times 50, you get? 16.7. Okay. No, I think it's 1.65. 1.65. 1.65. 1.65. 1.65. 1.65. 1.65. 1.65. 1.65. 1.65. 1.65. 1.65. 1.65. 1.65. 1.65. 1.65. 1.65. 1.65.
That's what I got. Yep, 1.61. Okay. That means the voltage will be dissipated through the resistor R1. And if you want to calculate the VR2, I'm not doing calculate everything here, but I'm telling you, V R2. If you want V R3, I um uh three okay however when you adding up vr1 vr2 vr3 they must be equal to e <laughs> e must be vr1 plus vr2 plus v uh, three. If it's not, that means you get a problem. You lost power somewhere. Okay, that is a calculation for the voltage. We, we are right now talking about calculation. Now, if I want, I say I want to calculate the power P of R1. Then, will be using the formula I square time R1. Okay, I will be 0 0.033 square time 50. See what you get, okay, point zero three. Three square equal time fifty. I got uh, fifty four point zero point five five what? We've got fifty four point five milliwatts. Yeah, we don't care milliwatts. Uh, yeah. now. If you want to turn it to the milliwatt, you have a target, okay? Okay, so you can calculate the PR1, PR2, PR3, okay? All of the power adding up, they have to be the power of the power supply. So that is all of the calculation regarding into the series circuitry. Okay, then any question? Just to nitpick, I believe the answer on that bottom line should be 0 0.055 watts. That's right. You mean 0 0.55 watts, right? 0 0.05. 0 .05. Oh, 0 0.0, I'm sorry. Sorry, just nitpicking there. Yeah, I'm missing. Okay, if you want to a uh, milliwatt, I can give it you right here. Okay, time of time. 54.4 watt. That means 55. Milliwatt. Okay, so any question? regarding into the series circuit. That means I cover everything regarding into the series circuitry. Okay, now, if not, okay, question. I will be going Okay, I will be going. That calculation in here, you do it, okay? I don't do it. Okay, let's see.
Okay, now we're talking about voted divider law. Okay, let's see. Okay, you get R1, R2, R3. I can tell you that you will be in point A, point B, point C. Okay, if you want to calculate the color, I, okay. So basically what you need to do is calculate the R total. I will be equal A divided to I total. R total. That's what we already done. Okay. If I want to calculate the V R3. How? That means the voltage here. Equal what? C to ground. What I say, if I want to do a calculation for VR3, the voltage across the R3, what the formula? I times R3. That's what I want. I, I times R3. Right? Now, in the theory circuitry, they get a voltage divider law. So if I want the VR3, so they take the voltage E time. R3 divide total resistance R1 plus R2 plus R3. That's what they call a voltage divider law. Okay. Instead, you have to calculate the current I, right? Calculate the R total. Then you able to calculate the VR3. Now they're using only one formula. They able to calculate the VR3. Okay. Uh, why R1? Shouldn't it just be R3 and R2? Okay, now VR3, that means the voltage across R3. Normally, what you have to do, you have to calculate a total. Right? Then you take the calculate the current I. I will be equal E divided by R1 plus R2 plus R3. Correct? And after you get the I, you can calculate the VR3 equal I times R3. And now they're using only one formula. They can do it in order to do it. So first thing you want the voltage across R3, okay? That means you take the total voltage A times R3. Then you have to divide by R1 plus R2 plus R3. E divide R1 plus R2 plus R3. That means you get the current. Then you time R3. That's just the formula. 
Mr. Pham, quick observation, and it may be insignificant. Uh, but I, I just noticed if we use the same values for the resistors as we did on the previous example, where we were finding the voltage drop by multiplying. You can calculate the voltage drop via three, right? Yes, sir. I, I was just going to uh, mention, and again, it probably is not a significant difference at all, but using the voltage divider law, if, if we use the same values for the resistors as we did on the previous example, where we were calculating the voltage drops by multiplying the current by the individual resistor values, doing it that way, when you add up the, the voltage drops, you get 9.99 volts. If you use no, the no, voltage no. divider no, line. No. Okay, now, hold on. This is the way how to calculate the using voltage divider, right? We are three. Yes. I'm just saying this this way seems a, a slightly bit more accurate. No, no, that, we don't care accuracy or not. We care if it's right or wrong. Okay, now, if you want to calculate the VB, you have to use in the voltage divider. If you want the VB, you have to use that means from B to where? Ground. B to round. Okay. From the B to round, how many registers you get? Two. 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 So you have to take A time R2 plus R3. Then divide total. That's what they call a voltage divider. Okay. So Mr. Fam, basically in a voltage divider, every time we are measuring with respect to ground. Right. Is that correct? Correct. Thank you. Okay, now I will be asking you a question here. Okay, uh, quickly. Almost we done for theory, I have to go to the parallel, okay? Otherwise we slow. Now we, we get that I want you to doing a calculation for me. R1, 50, R2. 150, R3, 100. That's what we call V out. Okay. That will be the round. Plus minus 24. Okay, what I want you to do, calculate the Number one, let's see. Go to nine. Okay, that I want. That go to nine. And that the go to nine are three. Number two, V R two. Number three, V R one. Number four, V out. 
Okay, can you do it for me? Okay, I believe we can get enough power. Well, question, this doesn't look like it's in serious. For number one, one ampere? One they appear to be in series, but- uh, Point one ampere. Yeah, what, point one amps, 100 milliamps. Point one amper. Okay, now to do it, you say uh, E divide. 200. R1, R2, right? All right. Yeah. 20 over 200. 0 0.1 amp. Right. Okay, VR2. 15 volts. Right. 0 0.1 yeah. times 150. VR, VR2, I want to use in the voltage divider. Okay, how? Twenty times one fifty over two hundred. Um, R two divide R one R three one plus R two. B R two two is That's what I, so I say. Voltage divider. Okay, we are one. I. Five volts. Time R1. Five volts. Right? I just give you formula. I don't want to calculate it. What we are? 15 uh, volts. Yes, 15 volts. Okay, okay we are two. What you calculate it? What you get? We are two. 15 volts. 15 volts. Okay, 15 volts. So what we have? 15 volts. 15 volts. 15 volts. There's no voltage drop across R3. Okay, that means right here, you get 15 volts. What the current IR3? Zero. Zero. There's no current flow. Zero. Zero ampere. The thing is open circuitry. Let me know current flow. So if you get a zero amp, so the voltage drop, drop across R3, VR3. Zero. Equal IR3. Time R3. Equal zero volt. You get a 15 volt right here, and they not drop any voltage to R3. So the VL will be the same, 15 volt. Mr. Fem, this if you are doing with a calculation, this is 15 volts, but if you are measuring with a DMM, it cannot be 15 volt because the voltage no, is no. going to drop across 100 okay, ohm now, resistor. Don't, don't confuse it. I'm just talking about we doing a calculation. Okay? When you're working on the circuitry, you know, practically, there can be effect something else. But that doesn't matter. However, if I given you that circuitry, you have to know how to doing the calculation. I show you here. Okay, any more questions? Mr. Fan. Yeah. I know you didn't make the rules, but isn't that using E and V make it a little bit confused? E, that means that the name of the power supply. V is just a unit of the power supply. That means the voltage. Back oh. in the day, they used to use E to mean electromotive force. 
normal later aging age is just a 40 power supply. But the unit will be 20 volt or 15 volt. This is the thing you need to go into your and review, calculate, try to redo it to see you can get it or not. Okay. Now I'm talking about parallel. Voltage in a parallel circuitry, voltage is the same across each brand of the circuit. Total current is equal to the sum of individual brand current. Equivalent resistance is less than smallest brand resistance. Total power equal to the sum. Okay. Now I need that one. You're talking about it. Okay. Parallel circuit. Okay, so now you get the parallel circuit. Okay, so you get an E here, 10 volt, R1, 50 ohm, R2, 100, and R3, 150. Okay, so now this is a parallel connection. So you know, how do we recognize in a parallel connection? First thing you're looking into here, you get a current I flow here. Okay. When they go to R1, they get I1 going down. And going down I2. Going down here I3. Okay, so the current I1, I2, I3 not the same depending on the value of the resistor. So that bring it up one thing for you. When the current is not the same through the resistor, then they be in parallel connection. Okay, however, the voltage the voltage across R1 will be the same 10 volt E. Uh, voltage across R2, same thing. So basically, VR1 equal V. R2 equal V. R3, and that will be equal E. That means all of the voltage will be the same. So if you want to calculate the current I1, that's easy, right? I1 equal V E divide R1. I2 E divide R2 and I3 V divide E divide. Okay, and you understand it, I total. That means the I total right here. equal I1 blood I2 blood I3 okay so only thing you need to recognize parallel circuit 
by looking into the current through its register. If the current different not, in each register, they will be in parallel. If they get the same current, they will be in series. Okay? And now I say I want to combine this circuitry into this circuitry. Only one register. That still be E. And that's what we call a, a total. Or a equivalent. So in the serial, serial circuitry, you adding a one, a two, a three, and so on to get a, a total. However, in the parallel, the formula will be different. Our total will be using this formula here. One divide one over R one plus one over R two plus one over R three. And they can be adding more, okay? But this is a formula. So if you want to calculate the total resistance in a parallel, then you must be using this formula. So any uh, not quite follow it, let me know. Hey, Mr. Pham, your yeah. the rule for the rule for for uh, identifying a parallel circuit, I think, has to make if all the resistors are the same, they're all going to have the same current but it's still a parallel circuit. Yeah, if so, they connect. Yeah. So yeah. the other part of it is they all have to have the same voltage too. But, but the thing is, if they get the same voltage, they get the same current, same resistor, they're not supposed to connect in parallel. Okay, so now if you see, you know how they be in parallel. Mr. Pam, can I ask a quick, quick question? Go ahead. Um, at some point on this one here, on the parallel one, are you going to uh, explain the uh, current divider rule? Next time. You okay. Don't have to, you don't have to ask him. I keep running. Okay. Okay. Don't try to, what I said, don't try to go ahead. That will be messing up. Okay. One by one. If okay. I go to that one, do not quite follow it, ask question. Otherwise, don't ask any question in the head of the hand now. Of, okay. Okay? Gotcha. The, gotcha. Thing is, the thing is, you guys already been here one, one year, two year, three year. You know more. And the people now, they just coming in. I supposed to be, they know nothing. Okay? So don't ask any question, you know. In advance, I don't want to answer that. Okay, only up to this point. If you confusing something, not quite follow it, bring it up. Okay, so when you see the circuit tray, they in parallel, that means <laughs> resistor will be get a different value of the current, then they connect parallel. If they at the same value of the current, they will be in series, okay? And in parallel, the voltage across each resistor will be the same. And if you want to calculate the total resistance, that means you combine that thing here, okay? To one resistor, then you must be using formula. One over, one over R1 plus one over R2, one over R3. So if you get a question on this one, let me know. Otherwise, we need to go more. Okay, now we deal with only two resistors.
Okay, plus or minus A. A1. A2. And you understand it, the total current I here. N1 current go to R1. I R1, I1. And the current go to R2, I2. Now, for we understand, we know VR1 equal VR2 equal E. Okay? And if you want to calculate uh, I1 equal E divide R1 I2 A divide R2. And finally, I will be equal I1 blood I2. Okay? Now, we deal with only two register. in parallel. Okay. If you want to combine R1, R2, that means you want to calculate the R total. Or some they say R equivalent. That doesn't matter. Then you're using this formula. R1 times R2 divide R1 plus R2. Okay, you can pay on the formula given to you before. R total equal 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So they combine it, they give it you this formula for easy calculation. Okay. You see that? And also in the parallel circuitry, you can get the law they call a current divider law. Okay, that means if you want to calculate the current I1, <laughs> then they're using the current divider law. That means they take the current I, total current, time R2, divide R1, plus R2. If you want to calculate the I2, then you can get the total current I times R1 divide R1 blood R2. Okay? That's the current divider law. Do you, do you mean to say on the I1 on the numer numer numerator, uh, I, I and uh, R1, what is supposed to be R2. Is it I, I calculate the current I1. So I, I using the I times R2. Okay, thank you. If I R1 plus R2. Why we get the current divider law in the parallel? You get two, one voltage divider, one current divider. 
my question is how come we can get the current divided law in the parallel? Because in a parallel circuit, the sum of each branch current represents the total current. Now, basically you have to say the thing is in the parallel circuitry, the current is different, right? Right. I, I want I to different, so that's why they get a current divided law. But in the theory circuitry, you cannot get current divided law. Current divided law, in order to use in the calculator, current through R1 and a current through R2. But the voltage divider, current the same, but the voltage different. So that's why you get a voltage divider law, okay? In the series. So that means that in series, voltage get divided and in parallel current get divided. That's why it is called current divider and that is called voltage divider. Right. Okay, this is for your guy to read it, okay? Do it, okay? And next time, any question, then I can answer you, okay? The thing is giving you more thing. Just let make sure you reading, okay? When you go into the DMM, in here, I only tell, I'll tell you everything. They can measure DC and AC voltage. Uh, but the AC, you must get the VIMS. You cannot get the V pick or pick to pick. Okay, they can measure DC AC current, measure resistance, continuing, or option to measure capacitor diode frequency. Okay, and lab instructor will be telling you how to using a meter to measure whatever you need. Okay, so now this is what you need to read. Okay, I will be stop the lecture here and let Sam will be running the quiz number two. Okay, so make sure. Thank you, Mr. Fan. Make sure the reason I have to work in a lot of things, try to <laughs> get to the quiz. I, get, I want you every time you reading the question, you know right away what to do. That's what I wanted, okay? You don't have to keep memorize, memorize. More you do, more you read it. That will help you to get through the program, okay? And also, after this week, next week, we no longer let the people get into the program anymore. Only thing that you want to drop, email to me. I dropped you out. Okay, any question? No? I don't understand what was your last statement you said. If you send an email, what does that mean? Can you more clear it? Can you so, say uh, like Mr. Pham said, if you want to drop a, this course, you want to send email to him that he, you want to drop from this course. Oh, I got it now. The thing is sometimes student cannot drop, for example. And they want to drop it. So that's why in the past, student emailed to me. And they say, okay, they could understand, could not understand. So maybe another time, that's okay. I will be dropping, okay? So I want to control the number of students in the program. That's easy for me to do a lot of different things, okay? But so far, you know, up this time will be almost the end on the online. I feel very good during, you know, one year do it. A lot of students get a much, much better, okay? So you, when the phone coming in September, most of the time you will be spent in the lab to do your job.
Okay, any question? Go ahead. So, um, what exactly is the quiz you mentioned? The quiz will be running now, okay? However, everyone understand that the quiz cannot display on the handout. That cannot bring it out. If you want it, you can go to the website. The thing after today, I will be recorded and put it in the YouTube. But that, you know, I cannot bring it. Okay, so go ahead and do it, Sam. Okay, thank you, Mr. Fam. Okay. Let me go ahead and, okay, so make sure you want to do is go to the website and get that uh, form. Okay, so you want to do, go to the, go to a website and go to the handout and download this one right here. It said eQuiz 02 Summer 2021 Report. Okay, so that's what you're going to be able to do. Uh, that's what you're going to be doing. And then if you do not have this, you can always do it on word processor or you can do on your notepad like I, I do right here. I just get open on my notepad and just put the name of the of the uh, quiz and I just number one to 12 or whatever, how many number of question that you will be on the test and you will be able to upload this one. So if you if you do not have access to Excel, go ahead and do it through notepad. Make sure or, they put the name. Yeah, so you want to put your name also, put, your, uh, put, put the quiz and put your name there. Okay, so okay, so make sure you download that. So let me go ahead and stop here and then we're gonna run the test. Okay, so uh, let me go minimize this one. Okay, so we're gonna be all right, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, let me go ahead and go there. And we're gonna be going through running the test. Uh, Is there so anything else? No, you're going to be doing that test and then you're going to be, uh, I'm going to run the test now. So you're going to be, make sure you uh, put the answer on your answer sheet and then later on upload it to the website when you're finished. Okay. Is this the <laughs> download easily from uh, the handout? Okay. So there is the test right there. Can everybody I'm taking see? pictures of it. Thank you the pictures of it. Mr. E, this is due uh, by 12 tomorrow. Sorry, I'm not sure if you heard me, but uh, Mr. E, this is due uh, tomorrow by 12 p.m., correct? Correct. Okay. By noon, yes.
Okay, you got one more minute. I saw the timer running. Yeah, I touched on my I uh, touched my mouse earlier. And that's why the time stopped. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm running. I'm watching my timer here. So they have okay. one more. Um, Mr. Yi, I actually took a picture of this on the test. That's fine. You can do it. Okay. Thanks. Okay, next one. Oh. Oops, uh, now let me see, it went to, uh, let me see number one, and, and now it's going to four. One, two, three, yeah, it should be number four now. Damn, is this for for tech one or tech two or both? This is applied to everyone. Okay, perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Make sure everyone missed uh, missed up something in the lecture. You can watch the video I put on the web.
can I ask if number six is parallel? Yes, it's in parallel. Oh, thank you. You're welcome.
just to be clear, when we upload, uh, for those of us who are tech two, would you like them to upload them to section two or just section one? Tech one. Okay, thank you. Even you in tech two or tech one, on up the upload for homework assignment and the quiz, upload to tech one. We want only one person control that. Uh, sorry, yesterday, uh, Mr. Sam told me to take two for, uh, we should check mark the take two. Uh, so it is changed now? Yeah. Okay. So you can re-upload it. I want Sam to take care of that thing. I did the same thing with the first quiz, so I'll re-upload that as well. That's Sounds good. Thank you. Oh, uh, Mr. Semi. Yes. Um, I actually wrote down all the answers. I mean, I'm okay. that, I mean, wrote down all the questions. I mean. Okay, that's fine. Yes, you said that they're only due until tomorrow at tw uh, twelve at noon. By twelve, yes, it must be uploaded into the website by noon tomorrow. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, could I see four and five again? Okay, hold on. Let me hold on. Let me go look at the chat now because when they're running, I can't look at the chat. <laughs> oh, no. They can't let me do both at the same time. So just give me one moment. Oh, no, no. Okay. Also, I think Mr. Fan will have this uploaded to the website so you can review the test on your own. Probably. Uh, no, it, it, yeah, it's only in video form. It, like Mr. Fan said, this quiz would be in the video form. So you have to do it, just uh, let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so go here. Okay, you said you need to look at four and five. Okay, so four. Anything else today? Okay. It, After we have about 12 questions, that's it for tonight. Yeah, that's it. And that's it for tonight. I already wrote, I wrote all 12 questions down. Okay. Um. So I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, goodbye. Okay. All right. Have a good night. Oh, no, sorry. It was five and six. That easy. Okay. Five and six. Sorry. Okay. Okay. There's five and six. Five is the series, uh, series, and uh, six is parallel. Mr. Oh, Yee, no... oh, go ahead. Whoever was speaking. Sorry. The, so, to clarify, there's only 12 questions, right? Yes. Only 12 questions for this quiz number two. Thank you, Mr. Samuel. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, Jan. Take care. Okay, right. Brandon, Thank you have a question? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm not sure if there's anywhere where I can uh, see the information or if it was already told, but uh, when are all of the uh, current assignments that have been uploaded due? I, I heard someone say two weeks from, I think, Monday or? Yeah, I, I tried to set it two weeks so that way no one would be falling behind like Mr. Pham. After he gave his lecture and then you want to do it, try to attempt the home, see if you can do it. And some of the question you may not be able to answer it because you have not covered in the lecture yet. Okay. But okay. you can also use Google. Yeah, you can Google the information. You can Google the question and then just read about it a little bit and then you should be able to find the answer to it. Okay, thank you so much. There's a lot okay, of tutorial videos on YouTube as well. Yes, there you go, okay. Okay. Okay, so five and six, uh, so you're good? Hello. Yes, go ahead, Leonardo. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I would like to to buy. I would like to buy um, the um, uh, the equipment that is necessary to to do the the lab. For example, uh, it costs yeah. thirty thousand dollars. So, <laughs> I looked oh, it up. It's thirty thousand dollars. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'll you one for 10,000. <laughs> no, they won't sell for 10,000. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so, yes. I'm, yeah, the equipment I'm, is pretty expensive. And so. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, any other um, option because it's a little bit expensive, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it has on, another equipment equivalent uh, more cheaper. Can you make an oscilloscope out of a potato? Uh, for example, <laughs> I, I bought the oscilloscope. I don't know, but this is the only way because we don't have a opportunity to, to have a, 
lab right now. Um, if you can do the thing at home, I don't know, it's an idea. Okay, so we we'll stop now, okay? Yes. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, take care.